everybody! Happy Gamer here with another internet first for you. I am bringing you Adepta Sororitas Apocalypse Formations. Sisters of Battle get their Apocalypse Formations. This is cause for celebration, everybody. Yes, and I'm bringing it to you first. Squadron is going to be called, well, the first formation is going to be called a Purgation Squadron. A Purgation Squadron is really quite simple. It is three to six Retributor squads. Bingo. Well, let's get to the fine print, though. Formation restrictions. Those three to five Retributor squads must include... Four heavy weapons, and those heavy weapons must include a heavy bolter, a heavy flamer, and a multi-melta, the Holy Trinity. It must also take an immolator as dedicated transport. Okay, so let's go through that again. Three to six retributor squads, they must take an immolator as a dedicated transport, and they must have four heavy weapons with Heavy Bolter, Heavy Flamer, Multi Melta. That's it. What do you get in return for this supposed restriction? The squads all get Relentless Special Rule. They also get what's called Wall of Fire. Wall of Fire allows six or more units. Units in the formation can combine their fire, their shooting attack. Now, that means units, not squads. That's units. So that means the immolator. So basically, it means three retributor squads with their three immolators can combine their fire into a single firing profile. So two sets of three Retributor squads, since the limitation is three to six squads, can then each combine their fire into this special wall of fire option. What is the wall of fire option? It is pure smeggin' awesomeness. That's what it is. How do you translate that awesomeness into game rules? I will tell you. First is called Bolter Storm. Bolter Storm is a range 36, strength 5, AP 4, heavy 1, apocalyptic blast template. Boom. That's what it gets. Now, one, uh, one thing I also say. All of the three retributor squads that are doing the shot all have to have line of sight to the unit and all have to be within range of the unit. So anybody trying to get a little cheesy on that, don't do it. Next, they have Flamer Storm. Flamer Storm has the Hellstorm range. It's Strength 5, AP 4, Heavy 1, Torrent. Yes. Burn, baby. Burn. Next is Melta Storm. Can you see where this is going? Range 24, strength 8, AP 1, AP 1, yes, AP 1, heavy 1, Melta Large Blast. Nice. <laughs> heavy 1, Melta Large Blast, but I'm saving you the best for last, which is called the Smeg U Formation, or in their words, the Holy Trinity. Range 24, strength 6, AP 3, heavy 1, Melta, ignores cover, massive blast. <laughs> massive blast. Heavy 1, Melta, ignores cover, massive blast. I'm not finished. You're not enough with that, so we got Relentless, we got Wall of Fire, we also got Fire and Faith. Fire and Faith 
says that if any of the units in the formation that are uh, um, pass a that are firing in the wall of fire combining into the wall of fire pass an act of faith it works on all of them so since you're using a minimum of three units up to six uh basically and you include a simulacrum imperialis those three units would be able to use their act of faith twice which gives them six acts of faith which then means wow you're pretty much popping off your act of faith every turn of the game and what is the oh, the divine guidance is the act of faith and that gives all of the squads rending which is amazing so you're going to use those weapon profiles and you're going to get winding and you're going to be relentless and you're going to get your war hymns they don't apply to war hymns so that means each unit with its war hymn i don't know how that's going to fit in with it but i think it applies to the same thing we'll see try it and find out hope you enjoyed it next I'm, but now I'm going to, for those who want to stay around, I'm going to read you the fluff from this formation. If you don't, bye, smell you next time. Here we go. The fluff. In large scale engagements where the enemy is wont to overwhelm the sisters of battle's defense lines with an unstoppable application of force. A canonist may sanction the formation of purgation squadrons to cleanse the threat from the battlefield. Such an action is never taken lightly, for deploying the greater proportion of the order's retributors and immolators in such a formation can leave other sororitas units without heavy fire support of their own. However, there are few foes that can stand against the combined firepower of a purgation squadron equipped with Adepta Sororitas' holy trinity of weapons. They unleash a rolling wave of bolter shells, flames, and meltablasts that devastate everything that dares stand in its path. Bitches. Yes, that's what it says. I hope you like it. Until next time, boom! Play Apocalypse. Bring the sisters. Make them suffer. Bye!